Hello y'all, today I'm back out in western Kansas and this won't be a long video but I'm up here for other things and back in state for Thanksgiving and I decided to just stop at a few little road cuts here um, in the Smoky Hill Valley and look for a few fossils just along the edge of the road. Nothing major today but I thought I'd bring you along for the ride for a short video, see if we can find any cool little fossils here uh, just in the edge of the road and some of these creek beds. Um, I don't have access to any private property here so Got to keep it a little bit short, but hopefully might be able to find something. So I'll be looking around, see what we can find. I'm at a nice little exposure here right next to the road um, in Gove County. And so we'll look around a little bit. Haven't been here for very long. Hopefully we can find a shark tooth or two or maybe some sort of little fossil. Um, it looks cool. So I'll bring you along with the ride. Right off the bat, this is a very fossiliferous area. Um, you can see there's Fragments of Inoceramus, uh, giant clams everywhere here. Um, so that's really the only type of fossil I've seen so far. Here's some uh, oysters on an Inoceramus clam. So that's kind of cool. Um, but nothing else yet. But I'll still look around and see what we can find. It's not really a fossil or anything, but just picked up this rough fragment here. And it looks to be petrified wood, probably, um, from the chalk here. So that's kind of cool. I've never really found anything like that before. It should be a little bit translucent. But interesting. That's a unique material. Probably don't find any anywhere else. There's not a lot of public access here, but look at this gorgeous chalk canyons back here in this private land. I would love to go hunting in there. If any of you have connections, you can get me hooked up with some permission to go into places like that. That would be amazing. Yeah, this is a really gorgeous little place. Um, there's this tiny little road quarry right next to the road that looks like it's relatively unfenced, so I might look around there just a little bit and see what's there. Um, just a beautiful place out here. All prairies and a beautiful winter day. So, let's see what else I find around here. Just picked up this little nodule, and it's a little pyrite nodule. You can see the little cubic structures in there. That's really fun. I kind of forgot these were out here. It's really cool. Let's see if I can find some better specimens. But those are really fun. Looks like here's another little one. That's awesome. Clean those up a little bit. Those would be really nice. It's really interesting. This is a little old township pit. Um, not really a pit. It's just kind of a parking lot. Um, next to the road. The gravel here is really interesting. It's all sorts of clam pieces, you know, ceramics, clam chunks, and then a lot of other pretty interesting gravel um, that I haven't seen a lot of before. Um, so, it's really interesting. Definitely a unique type of environment here. One tip I got from a couple people online um, is to look at these big anthills for microfossils because the ants in digging through the gravel sometimes bring up little fish teeth or shark teeth and then you can just pick them off the top of the stack. So I'll look around here just a little bit. I don't expect to find too much, but it'd be really cool if you could find some sort of little tiny fish tooth or something that the ants already brought up for you. So I'll look around just a little bit and see what I find. Well, not seeing anything in this ant pile, but not too surprising. But hey, I'll look around a little bit more and see what else I can find in this spot. Found a few of these interesting concretions here. And it's kind of tempting to think they might be like a big fossil vert or something. But I don't think they are. I think they're just um, sulfide concretions that have kind of oxidized away in the limestone. Because if you break them apart, uh, which I can't do, but... They just look like limestone inside, kind of stained by this iron color. 
So it looks cool, but I don't think it's actually anything exciting. Nothing too crazy here, but it's kind of cool because you can actually see the whole outline of the Inoceramus clam here. And it's not often that you see them in place like that. Oh, there's a hole in there. Another hole in there. Another mostly hole in there. That's kind of interesting. You get a sense for how big they were. Although, these did get much, much larger, up to several feet across. So, that's cool. And, oh. Spotted another pyrite cluster here. That's pretty cool. I forgot about these, and these are really unique. So, I like that. Alrighty, nothing crazy there, but that was a really fun little stop, this little parking lot pull off thing. One more place I want to stop at least, up down by the Smoky Hill River down there. And we'll see if there's anything around the bridge there, but. So far it's been fun, just swinging by on my way back from a uh, lake out further west and decided to stop in, see if I could find anything interesting. So it's definitely been fun. Let's see what else I find at the next stop. This next place is kind of cool. Just a wide edge of the road here. It's kind of an old ancient junkyard here. Lots of old vehicles. Uh, just out in the field. Nothing too much as far as fossils go yet, but it's a cool place. It's got some exposed chalk, um, some shale. Look around a little bit, see if there's anything interesting here. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be crazy, so might move on, stop maybe one or two boats, places on the way out. But we'll see what we find. Well, there's endless shell material here at this site, but so far I've seen nothing that wasn't shell material. So it doesn't seem like we're in a super productive area. I found just a little bit more. I'll probably cut on. It's a pretty big clam. It's just part of it. big oyster plate there. Anyway, it's another beautiful day out here though. Gorgeous weather. Here's some cool, really old farm equipment. Just laying beside the road here. It's kind of cool. I think these are old road graders. Um, levelers. Probably from like a hundred years ago, so. That's really cool. Some of that old equipment out here probably hasn't moved in a hundred years either. Holy. Anyway, nothing too crazy showing up down here. Although, I always hope it's some last minute find here. But I don't think so. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. I know this is a really short video and nothing too crazy happened, but just wanted to make it because I was up here anyway and prove that I'm still alive, even though I am super busy in college these days. So good, really good to get back out in Kansas again and look for a few fossils, even if I didn't find too much. Um, I want to come back to this area and hunt it more. So again, if you have access to land or know where I can get access to land, that would be amazing. I'd love to come out with somebody and uh, spend a day or two out here looking for fossils, like real, real marine fossils again. Um, that would be amazing. Another thing I really wanna do while I'm up here sometime is find um, the moss opal that's found in a few different counties in this area. Um, I know a lot of people who have found it, but I, I don't know where, I don't know exactly how to find it. So if you know, please let me know. I'd love to come up here at night with a black light and look on these roads. I'm sure you could pick up a few pieces. Uh, but if any of you know where the original source of uh, opal is up here. I'd love to come dig it with you. Um, so let me know. But other than that, until next time, I still got a couple hours home. Go hang out with my family for the rest of the weekend. So hope you all get out there, do some rock hounding, do some fossil hunting, see what you can find and have a good time.
till then, I'll be studying, and I'll be back out as soon as I can. So we'll see you next time.